There's been a lot of media attention of late with regard to NFL players, in particular retired NFL players, and the problems that they're starting to have you know, in, in adulthood, mid-adulthood, early to late adulthood. Um, the entity most commonly referred to is, is or referenced as chronic traumatic encephalopathy, and that is where an individual has this history of repeated traumatic hits to the head and there, there are also then associated with that later in life behavioral changes like depression or sometimes even suicide, uh, agitation, can be dementia or cognitive disturbances, memory problems. The, the data out there, the studies now seem to suggest that there is a clear correlation in the least with recurrent head trauma. So that's, that's another thing to think about as far as the cumulative risk of recurrent head injuries. On, on one end of the spectrum you have second impact syndrome which if mismanaged on the front end can result in a, in a devastating sometimes life ending injury at that time and then later in life at the other end of the spectrum you have this chronic traumatic encephalopathy which again is is due to or thought to be due to cumulative or recurrent head traumas uh, during their playing career both of which we would like to ideally be able to avoid and I think further research will will help us to do that